Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of probability. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that a man wins 100 rupees if he gets 5 or 6 when he throws a die. And it says it loses 50 rupees if he gets any other number on the die that is either 1, 2, 3 or 4. And further the question tells us that if he decides to throw the die either till he gets a 5 or a 6 means he will throw the die till he wins or do a maximum of 3 throws. So if he does not win then he can throw maximum of 3 throws till he gets a win or all the three if they are losses then also they have to stop throwing the die and further the question is asking us how much is his expected gain or loss in rupees so expected gain or loss means he's talking about the mean of that value let's find the mean and if i talk about the answer choices that are given to us here they are 400 over 3 loss second answer choice zero third 400 over nine rupees that are lost and the last option tells us he gains 400 over three rupees so let's figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the question here so first of all if i find the probability of getting a five or six when i throw a die i know probabilities formula it is nothing but favorable outcomes over total possible outcomes. So if I throw a die, I know I have total six options. I can get any number from one to six, but my favorable event tells me that you should get either a five or a six. So my favorable outcomes are two here and that gives me probability of five or six when I throw a die is one over three. So once I get that probability of getting a five or six, if I find the probability, this is the probability of winning because he wins if he gets a 5 or 6. So let's find the probability of losing also. So probability of losing is getting a number as 1, 2, 3, 4 when I throw a die. So my favorable outcomes are 4 out of total 6 and that if I divide by 2, I get 2 over 3. So probability of getting 1, 2, 3 or 4 is 2 over 3. So I know now my winning probability it is 1 over 3 and my losing probability it is 2 over 3. Now let's understand the cases to understand how many throws we should have done here. So case 1 where I can just get a win on the first die itself. So if I throw a die and I get 5 or 6 I get a win here. The second case can be that if I throw a die I don't get a 5 or 6 but on the second throw I get a 5 or 6. So I lose in the first throw but i win in the second row the third case can be i can lose in the first two throws and in the third throw i win and the fourth case can be i lose in all the three throws but since i have done maximum of three throws i have to stop here so this are i think all the four cases that we have so let's find how much winning does that give us so total winnings or total amount that is accumulated here for the first case if i'm just getting a win on the first row i get 100 rupees already the second case it tells me that you lose in the first row and then you win so losing takes away 50 rupees and winning gives you 100 rupees so in total you get 50 rupees net here the third case you are losing in the first two throws so minus 50 minus 50 but in the third case, you are winning. So you have plus 100. So 100 minus 100, that gives you net 0 rupees. And in the fourth case, you have all the three losses. So you have 50, 50, 50 given up three times. So you have the total earnings or net earnings as minus 150. So these are the winnings in all the four cases. And also, if I find the probability of all of these cases. So let's do that. First case, it's directly a win. So we know probability of winning is 1 over 3. Next case, first you are losing and then you are winning. 
So losing probability is two over three. Winning probability is one over three. That gives me two over nine. Next case, you are losing for the first two chances and you are winning in the third chance. So two over three, two over three, one over three. So you get four over 27. And the last case, you get all the three losses. So you are multiplying two over three, three times. That gives you eight over 27. So you have those probabilities now. Once you have the probabilities and once you have the total winnings, you just find the expected gain or loss. And expected means you are just finding the mean. And we know already that mean can be just found out by summation of x into p of x. So summation means you are multiplying this winnings the net winnings that you are finding out with the probability and you are taking the sum of that so if i just do that you get 100 into 1 over 3 for the next case you get the total winnings as 50 into 2 over 9 the next case you get that as 0 into 4 over 27 and the last case you have minus 150 into 8 over 27. So if I see, you get 100 over 3. Now if I just multiply this with 9 so that my denominators become same. So you actually get 900 over 27. So you have 900 over 27. Here if I multiply it with 3, you have 300 over 27. You have here 0 over 27. And the last case, you have 150 into 8, which is 1200 over 27. So if I see the denominator is 27, that is same. So I'm just writing that as once. And in the numerators, if I see 900 plus 300, that's 1200 and minus 1200, that is 0. So you get 0 over 27 and that gives you the expected gain or loss as 0. And if you see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option B. So B becomes a correct answer for the question given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So first we figured out all the cases that I have here. According to the condition, we found out for the cases, how much is the net earnings that I have. And then we also found out the total probability that we have for each of the cases. We just use the idea of mean and mean is summation of winnings into probability i just added all of those winnings with the probability and that gave me answer as zero which matches with option b so b becomes the correct answer here i'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on jwe mains so stay tuned for more videos to roll out also if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to the channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in this preparation of questions on JWE. Thank you.